So this is basically a quick tutorial to show you how you can align an object to a 3D spline in 3D space. So I did the 2D uh, version of this tutorial, how to align an object to a spline path. And this is a slightly different technique, so I'm just going to get started. I'm going to create a new composition, 1280p, sorry, 720p, um, 25 frames a second, duration 3 seconds, make that 5. Okay, so now I'm going to create a null object, and I'm going to make this null 3D, and I'm going to move to custom view 1. So if I animate the position, we have three values. I'm just going to put a keyframe right at the beginning, and then I'm going to move it back along X, and then down along Y maybe, and then a keyframe at 2 seconds. Move it up, move it along X, keyframe at 3 seconds again, Let's move it along, up and down, 4 seconds, just add another keyframe, push it back a bit, and one last keyframe. So this is effectively a 3D spline. I'm just going to create a new camera. 35 millimeters, click OK, and I'm going to go to Active Camera, click on the Null, go up here and choose the Orbit tool. So now we can see this kind of 3D spline in 3D space. And we can edit this, just simply click V for the Select tool, and we can edit these kind of tangent handles. So back to the Orbit tool, and we can um, adjust these points. Put it over here a bit more, maybe. Okay, so that looks all right. So next, I'm going to lock these two and create a solid. I'm going to create a star mask. And right now, this is 2D. I'm just going to click Y to bring up the anchor point tool, put it towards the center, hit V for the select tool. Now, I want this star to follow the null path in 3D space. So I'm just going to call this star. I'm going to open up the null position, star position, hit P, and then I'm going to alt click the stopwatch. And then I'm going to use this pick whip tool and link it to the null position. And that should snap right to it. The problem is, uh, we didn't make this 3D, so I need to start again. I'm just going to get rid of that expression. Go back to the star and check this box here to make it 3D. Now I'm just going to do that again, Alt Stopwatch Click Position, and link it to the Null Position. And now it's matching the Null. So one thing you'll notice is it kind of looks like flat, like cardboard. You might want it to have a more kind of 3D look. So Another cool thing we can do is we can basically click on the star, go to layer, transform, and then auto orient. We have a few more options here. So we can orient along path, and it kind of banks with the path. Pretty interesting effect. Just going to show you that without any control handles and stuff. So pretty interesting. And we can also choose layer transform auto orient towards camera so it's always pretty much facing the camera and this is I guess a more 3d kind of look looks like it's really going into the distance and we can always adjust the null path so here I might want it to go back quite a bit more Just enhance that 3d look here maybe I want it to get closer to the camera just adjust its position a bit more And we can see, if we just click the null, we can see that spline path. Control shift h to hide all the handles and uh, transform gizmos. So what's the point of uh, linking this to a null? We can basically go back to the star and we can add an expression to the wiggle, sorry, to the anchor point. So I'm just going to say wiggle, open brackets, one, comma, 100, close brackets, semicolon. 
so it's uh, following the null and it's got its own wiggle as well. I think we can increase frequency and I'm going to make it 2 200. So it's kind of roughly following that null and it's kind of doing its own thing. I'm just going to change the color of the star. It's a solid actually, so I just go to layer solid settings and just change it here, make it yellow. And I'm just going to render this. And I don't like the way it moves out of frame here, so I can just adjust my null. Just bring that in here, maybe up a bit. Just play that back again. And we've got this pretty cool uh, 3D looking animation. So that's the end of this tutorial. As usual, please share this and thanks for watching.